Professor Cahir, look, um, I'd like at the outset uh, to acknowledge uh, the announcement this morning by Minister of State at the OPW, Brian Hayes, uh, that 19 million is being made available through his offices uh, as an initial uh, investment to deal with flood defences um, uh, following on from the damage done uh, in January and February of this year. Uh, I'm delighted that of that 19 million, 8.7 million of, of that money is being made available to the people of County Clare, uh, whose shores were, were ravaged as a result of um, the, the, the inclement weather. And this certainly will go a significant step uh, towards uh, ensuring that the proper flood defence uh, mechanisms are put in place on a long-term basis to ensure that uh, uh, what we witnessed at the beginning of 2014 uh, won't happen again. And I would see this 8.7 million as being a very important incremental step in protecting the Clare coastline. And I certainly welcome that on top of the 17 million that was made available by the Department of the Environment a couple of weeks ago. So in total, we're looking at an investment of 25 million, which I think the people of Clare will be happy about. I'd also here, like, like to concur with other speakers uh, concerning uh, St. Patrick's Day and the people who are traveling around the world promoting Ireland. But I do believe it's also a time to reflect on the 50,000 undocumented Irish uh, uh, who find themselves living and working illegally in the United States. There has been many false dawns for the undocumented Irish uh, uh, with various um, representatives in the United States making significant strides and then finding that they take a number of steps backwards. Uh, with our T-shirt travelling to Washington, I have no doubt that he will avail of the opportunity with his meeting with President Obama uh, to speak uh, on the issue of uh, the need for a resolution to the undocumented Irish uh, uh, problem. Uh, but I will call on all representatives um, who are going both in a private and a political capacity to the United States uh, to use that unique opportunity of St. Patrick's Day to highlight uh, the plight of the 50,000 undocumented Irish because, you know, when people die at home, unfortunately they can't return to the funerals. Uh, when people get married, when children get christened, unfortunately they can't travel back for fear of being deported. There was a family in my own area last year who had been living and working in the United States, in the Boston area United States, uh, for many years. The family and all were, were well established there, and they were deported last year. I don't want to see any other family, uh, any other Irish family who are doing their best and who have made the United States their home, uh, suffering the same fate. So I think it's incumbent, Dr. Hirlock, in conclusion, uh, on us all to make an effort to support the 50,000 undocumented Irish, and hopefully we'll see a pathway to their legalisation. Senator Donnell, 